an ambulance come in. Priority two. It looked just like the real thing, an active shooter inside a local school, police and medics converging on the campus. Luckily, in this case, it was only a drill, but it did challenge local first responders and even some teachers about what to do should this scenario actually happen. Here's David Highfield with the story. This is a full scale drill. We're doing everything clean to the hospital. Springdale High School was the scene of an active shooter drill today. Students, teachers, and dozens upon dozens of emergency response teams took time to prepare. We want to make this as realistic as possible for all the emergency fire, EMS, police, and for the hospitals because they're testing their systems too. From the makeup room where students were given fake bullet wounds. One shot wound to the head to ambulances, gurneys, and even a life flight helicopter. Every person had a role to play. These drills give us time to practice and give us some training plus experience on learning how to handle situations if they were to arise. Students from the National Honor Society used their day off school to help out. It was very scary, like I didn't expect it to be that loud and I almost cried, I'm not going to lie. They practiced Alice training scenarios, a national program that teaches you to fight, flight, or hide. Students say they work together, planning to throw encyclopedias if the shooter entered their classroom. Whenever we heard the gunshots, we all just ran and barricaded the door as best as we can. The community surrounding Springdale High School practices a different type of drill every year. This mass casualty active shooter drill involved transporting 10 patients. They learn, uh, it's an educational experience, and that they know if anything were to happen, that we would be right there. Students say the skills they've learned will help them even outside the classroom. It's kind of our world now, sadly, and also even though I'm leaving a high school setting, I am going to college, so these kind of things can happen anywhere. David Highfield, KDKA TV News.